Boom, what's up everybody? My name is Kim Skywell and today we're going to be taking a look at how we can make a new intensity brush, your own custom intensity brush, which is a little bit different than an image brush that we made last uh, week. Uh, so we're just going to get to it pretty much and I'm going to make like a pod brush for an ob object debris brush. You can use for but when you know how to make it, you can make it whatever you want. So if you like this tutorial, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, leave some comments down below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know and uh, I'll see what I can do to help. Let's just get to it. So the first thing you need to do, you're gonna, when you open up Affinity Photo, just hit New Document. You're gonna Make sure you make a square artboard here. So I have one that is 2.559 inches by 2.559 inches. Make sure you have the transparent background, DPI, DPI, put it high, and then just hit create. See if we get a, a square artboard, which is great. So we're gonna go back here, get our rectangle tool, and we're just gonna fill this square with black. And uh, we can see we have it here. Now we're gonna hit Command Control J. We're just gonna duplicate that one, and now we're gonna make this one white. So we just drag that one down there. Perfect. So now we have two. We can hit the lock on this one for now, and we're gonna be working on this. So to make an intensity brush uh, that has looks like it could be uh, smog, smoke, fog, whatever. You want to apply a filter first on this white layer, and that's go up your filter, and we want to go down to noise, and then Perlin noise, and you can see here we got some noise in there. So octaves, you can see what's happening here. I'm going to make a pretty fine one, so if you take zoom, you're going to zoom it in, it becomes like this, that looks like sort of foggish pot to me. And then we have the persistence. So it's how much. I'm going to leave this one pretty high, just like this. Hit apply. And here's the trick to make an intensity brush. It's you have to invert this layer because it's, it's capturing the blacks of it. So the way we do it, just be on this. We're going to go down here to adjustments. If you don't see adjustments here, go up to view studio and then adjustments so now you're just going to go down i'm going to click here find invert like so that's perfect and now we're going to go back here because we're going to make this more uh, contrasty so what we do we just go up here we're going to can take a levels or a curves so i'm going to use levels in this case and then you can see that's where the information is. I'm just going to bring the blacks up pretty high, not that high. Just about to the middle there. And I'm going to make the, the whites come up here as well so we get a good contrast. And that looks pretty decent to me. Nice. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to group these layers here. So now we can see we have a black background. We can turn off this one. And but you don't want a square brush, you want to make it around over whatever, but square is no good. So just go up here to elliptical marquee tool. You're gonna to drag this one out till it gets to the size you want. I'm gonna keep it just around there. We're gonna go up to select, we're gonna to go to feather because you wanna keep the edges pretty uh feathered out. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna leave it at about 23% hit apply and then we're gonna make sure we're on this group hit the mask layer here you can hit command control D to deselect now you can see we have very soft edges here and that's great now we're gonna export this out so go up to file export PNG make sure it's square and then hit export Cool. So now you just got to navigate to where you want to save it. I'm going to go here to my assets folder and brushes and intensity. And then I'm going to call this pod brush. 
hit enter. That's awesome. Cool. So what we can do now is uh, just make a new one. So control N or go up there. I'm going to go here, take my big artboard. I'm going to drag out a new square. So you just go to your rectangle tool. I'm going to again fill this with black because it's easier to see what we're doing then. Cool, but we still haven't made any, like imported the brush we made. So make sure you're on brushes. Go to your uh, brush group category here. If you don't have any, click up here on this, those four uh, horizontal lines, make a new category and then you can rename the category and then we're gonna put it in. So I'm gonna go, I'm actually gonna go here cause I'm gonna show you how you can move the brushes after. Let's go here, new intensity brush. And we're going to click that one because that's the one we just made. Open. And I'm going to see if you scroll all the way down here, we have this brush here. So if I hit B on my keyboard, I can make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to make sure we have our colors here. I'm going to hit D to get it uh, back to colors. Now you can see we have some stuff here, but that doesn't look super great. So we got to amend this brush or adjust it a little bit so i'm just gonna command control c then we're gonna go up here to more and i'm gonna uh we're gonna reduce the sizing here a little bit just like so 360 spacing we can take a little bit further apart hardness flow good and then rotation you can just that way they rotate a little bit but under dynamic series where the the magic happens so i like to have them like this and i use pressure because i'm going to use this with my pen tablet and then accumulation i can take flow jitter a little bit you can see it changes the, the flow of them and then rotation jitter and we're going to just scatter them a little bit like so that looks pretty good randomly I'm going to just take up a little bit of hardness and uh, jitter and I'm going to make sure that I have the flow jitter here set to pressure as well we're not going to do anything under textures or soft brush uh, sub brushes so we're just going to hit close now and so now if I take my pen here we can see that this is how it looks. If I now go here to my brush size and make it bigger, you can see we have some more stuff. And if I press down really hard, we can get this stuff. So I might have gone over. Uh, let me just go delete all of that's what's on that layer. Uh, hit B here, we're going to get a new, there we go, I'm just going to drag this on top, hit B again, that might be a little bit too much, okay, so we have something on the side there, cool, I'm going to hit B here, we're going to, um, uh, Go up here to more again. We're just going to adjust this a little bit more. There we go. And then accumulation. And spacing. I'm going to take the spacing down just a little bit. Just around so. Okay. And then I'm going to close it. Now we're going to see what happens. So now you can see we have... Uh, we can make some so this brush could potentially help you to just bring out some more uh, details in in uh, Milky Way photography and stuff let's go try that out really quickly I'm gonna go here to stock I'm gonna go Milky Way yep there's only one we're gonna drag this in here. Just gotta see what's zoom that out. Cool. I'm gonna go back here. We're just gonna lock this layer that way we don't do anything. If 
Try to add a new here. But what I want to do now is we want to go up here. I'm going to hit uh, X on my keyboard. So we get black foreground color. Hit B. And I'm going to go. So. Okay. So I'm just going to delete that again. And now we're going to use the black one here. So if I now go over here and we go into the soft light overlay, soft light like so, that's a bit too much. Then just drag down the opacity a little bit. But now we can see here that we have just brought out the Milky Way a little bit more. And it looks natural because it's kind of random. Uh, on the screen so that's how you can make a intensity brush and i hope you liked this tutorial if you did please hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and leave your comments down below see you all next time